Yo, what's good? For Honor, Season 5 drops February 15th, and with it begins Year 2 of For Honor. So it's a big update. Heroes are being reworked, changes to the fight mechanics, dedicated servers coming soon after. Hopefully old players come back, and most importantly, new ones. In Season 5, we're getting a new training mode. Everything we've seen and heard about it looks great. Way better than what we have now, and should actually be a good way for new players to get into the game, stick around, and learn. Unfortunately, this doesn't drop until later in the season. So what if you want to get started now? What if you want to begin learning the fundamentals and get into the game? I'm going to go over the best way to do that with what we currently have. So let's boot it up and get started. Well, here we are. This video is going to be in the lens of if you just booted up the game for the first time. So for all my returning players, I'll put some time codes in the description. So that way, if you want to skip ahead to some of the more advanced stuff. Uh, but for all my new players, what's up? Welcome. You're going to have to do your traditional new game brightness setting thing. And then you go right into making the most important decision of your life. I'm just kidding, of course. Pick whatever one you feel like you identify with. It doesn't impact gameplay, what heroes you can play as. It does slightly impact the training process, actually, in the very beginning. But other than that, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you know, just make it count. Just going to pick knights, and then we go right into creating our emblem. Since we picked knights, we get this little uh, shield crest thing as our backdrop. Uh, if you care about it, the samurai get like this like long horizontal rectangle thing, and the vikings get a circle. Uh, but just throw whatever you want together. Uh, you can always edit or make different ones later on. Now, we're in our first tutorial. Since we picked the Knight Faction, uh, they gave us the Knight's Vanguard class, which is the Warden. If you picked the Samurai, it would have been the Kensei. If you picked the Vikings, it would have been the Raider. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You're not locked in. This is just for the tutorial purposes. This first few tutorial missions are very basic, self-explanatory, but I'm going to do a little bit talking over it. Uh, and remember, this is just the fundamental stuff, the really basic stuff, so it really doesn't matter what hero you're playing. I'm not going to go into playing the hero. So just uh, mess around with switching your target and moving your guard. Uh, you just have to flick your stick, your right analog stick, in the direction of the guard. You don't have to hold it. That's something that you might want to keep in mind for muscle memory purposes. So that way you have a little bit better time reacting. Uh, the natural tendency for 3D action games is like to try and like hold stuff like that or whatever. But uh, you just have to flick it in the direction and it will stay there in that guard position. You only have three. Left, top, and right. Uh, for assassin classes, this is a vanguard here. For assassin classes, the guard will deteriorate and you'll have to refresh it. But for every other class, uh, you just... You know, flick it in a direction and it will hold that guard. So left, right, or center. So now it's going into uh, a little bit of the blocking phase. We're actually going to get a live target this time. So you see I have my guard there on the left. Attack comes from the left. You see that little flashing attack indicator. That's how you know it's coming your way. And it's going to come from the other side. And I just flicked my right analog stick in that direction. And now I'm blocking. I don't have to do anything. There's no buttons to be pressed. I just have to make sure that my right analog stick put my guard in the proper direction. So now we're going to get into the next phase here. And now we're going to actually attack. So these are the basic attacks. Each hero does have their own chains and you know special moves and stuff like that. But like I said, we're just keeping it basic here. So you'll see this is doing some light attacks. Like I said, just get a feel for it. a lot of this is really self-explanatory. I just want to kind of talk it, talk it uh, over and kind of walk you through it. So you see we're just practicing around here, messing around with the different guards. You can change guards in between attacks uh, if your hero has a chain. So you saw there at the end I did a little uh, light attack on the right side, change guard, and then hit the left attack again. Now we're going to do the same thing, this time with heavies. And obviously you want to try and attack in the direction that your opponent's guard isn't at. You kind of see where he has his guard set up there looking at the indicator. So now moving on. This last attacking drill is just to defeat the training dummy with light and heavy attacks. Uh, like I said, each hero does have their own chains where they can chain light attacks into heavy attacks, heavy attacks into light attacks. So depending on the faction you chose, your vanguard you're training with, will probably operate a little bit differently. But don't worry too much about it. Just get past it because when you are ready to move on, you will notice that they're actually going to ask you to pull up your moveset and show you where it is. I'll actually go over reading your moveset a little bit later in the video. But for now, I'll just take a quick glance and that way you can kind of get an idea of what uh, he's capable of in terms of linking his lights and heavies. And this next part of the tutorial is actually going into the 4v4 Dominion 
mode, which is probably the premier team-based mode in the game. Uh, not the best way to learn fundamentals. I'll explain why a little bit later. But for this, just kind of get through this part. I'll link back up with you guys uh, when you get to capture point C. There's going to be a couple little phases here of uh, the Dominion. So uh, pay attention, enjoy, mess around with your chains, and I'll see you on the other side. Hey, you're back. Did you feel like a badass killing those minions at B? Yeah, you did. But it's going to feel even more badass when you're doing that to real players. So stick with me and let's get through the rest of this basic stuff here. Now this is going over dodging when you're locked onto somebody. Some heroes do it better than others, but it's important to note that you can do it. Uh, and there's one thing I really want you to pay attention to here. You see this guy attacking, it's unblockable. That little orange indicator lets you know because you'll notice we didn't see that in the other training phase. Now even though I have my guard set to the top, I can still get hit by that because it is unblockable. You saw it right there. Some heroes on the roster have their own version of unblockable, so you will come across it. Right now we're practicing dodging out of the way, but you'll see that my guard being there on the left isn't stopping it. Also, I'm not doing the best job of dodging. There are two options when it comes to dealing with an unblockable. You dodge it, like I'm failing here to do, or you can parry it. Parrying is something we'll go over in a little bit, but it's important to note where your options are with unblockable because... Things do get a little bit crazy. There will be heroes who will be able to faint the unblockable, fake you out, make you do something you don't want to do. But more on that later. For now, let's focus on this next one, which is very important to your fundamental, the guard break. Now, in a head-up situation, you're both are going to be trying to attack. You're both going to be trying to block the guard break as a new layer to the head-up gameplay. You'll see there, I get a guard break. He is defenseless, and I can follow up with an attack. Each hero has a specific guard break follow-up that gives them the optimal amount of damage. Don't worry too much about that yet. Just note that guard breaking is the kind of the way to open up your opponent. And there's actually another level to the guard break, is that it gives you a throw situation. So when you get somebody in that guard break, pressing square, you can press square again in any direction, and throw them in that direction. So that was a forward throw. I got him to wall. You see they actually staggered there, which is actually going to be key uh, when we get a little bit more advanced. Now, you see there, I threw him away, and he isn't really staggered there. He could have blocked that attack if he wasn't a you know stupid dummy. But you see him into that wall staggered. He can't do anything there. So that's something important to note uh, in terms of guard break and what your options are. But with that, you are done with the basic tutorial. You got some steel. We'll go over that later. And you probably think... Hey, I'm ready to make heads roll in the battlefield now. No, you're not. We got a few more things to go over. Follow me. All right. Now, you're back at the main menu. The next thing you should do, don't do anything else. You got to go down to how to play. And then that practice mode right there, that was the one we just did. The basic ass tutorial. You're going to take one step down, go to advanced practice, and boot this up. Do not do anything else. But you will notice that this now opens up the roster. We now get to see all of our options. So for this tutorial, you can actually pick any hero to go through it with. All of the ones labeled not recruited, those are your OGs, your original roster. And you don't have to spend 500 steel to play as them. Recruiting unlocks them in the sense of being able to customize them and eventually gear them out when you start leveling them up. But I'm going to go over selecting your hero right after we go through this advanced tutorial. So hang tight. Just pick someone you think looks cool. Uh, for my purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and pick the Warden since that's who we stuck with. Keep it consistent. Those feats come into play when you play a 4v4 game mode, so don't worry about that just yet. This first drill of the advanced practice is very important, and I'm going to show you why. So let's get into it. Here we are. Guard breaking. That dummy was cool, right? Throwing him around, smacking him around a little bit. But when you're playing a live opponent, you're going to be getting guard break yourself a whole lot. So how do you counter it? You know a guard break is coming when you see that red shield indicator. All I'm doing to get out of it is just mashing the square button, the guard break button. I see it coming, I press square, I get out of it. Simple concept, but you'll be amazed at how many new players struggle with it. And it gives a free damage, it can get you thrown off a ledge, so you have to know how to get out of it. So counter, standing still, mashing square. There are situations where you can't get out of it. I just got guard broken in the middle of a dodge, and there is no way for me to get out of it. No matter how hard I press square, it just won't happen. Standing still, no problem. 
but you will also have to be careful if you're on the offensive because if you're in the middle of a heavy startup for slower heavies like that you will get caught and you won't be able to guard break or in the faint you actually can press circle while doing a heavy attack to faint it we'll go over that at some point so stay in here as long as you need this drill is the most important one of the most important drills that you can do so stay in here until you feel comfortable and then go out of guard mode hold circle and we'll move on now we are on to parries we talked about it before when it came to unblockable the only way to actually block an unblockable is to parry it or dodge not a big fan of dodging but there's no way around it parrying is a huge part of the game even when not dealing with unblockables the rule of thumb is if it can be blocked it can also be parried and parries give you more of a reward than blocking so let's break it down the game tells you to press the heavy button when the attack indicator starts flashing red but what does that actually mean at what at what freeze frame record skip now this is where the indicator went from red to flashing and also when we should be pressing the heavy button to parry the attack now that may or may not be helpful to you if you think about it if you didn't do anything like press any buttons and had your guard right the attack would have been blocked so essentially all you're doing is pressing r2 right when the attack is about to hit you if the indicators are helpful to you go with that i kind of just go off of the animation itself and use the indicator kind of as a peripheral but you need more time on the game to kind of get a feel for each of the heavy attack animations it's a big learning curve when it comes to parrying so don't get frustrated make sure your blocks are solid first and parry some of those slow attacks now we're getting into external blocks. Now this is for when you're fighting multiple opponents, which is mostly going to happen in 4v4, maybe 2v2. We'll get into that later. But this is an important concept to learn, even if we're going to be focusing on more 1v1 battles for the fundamentals. Because you'll see here is that all you need to do is just have your guard to the side that the attack is coming from when you're not locked on to that person so we're locked on to the person ahead of me and that person on the right may be attacking me from one of his three guards but for my purposes i just need to have my guard to his side so i'm focused on the guy i'm locked on to he can change me up with different with three different guards but the guy on the side i just need to block his side important to note for sure and it'll be big help and you can actually go a step further and parry the external as well as long as you get the timing down but that's a little bit more advanced but like i said just focus on it because look now i'm even going to switch targets and the same rules apply that guy on my external is to my left i'm just looking at the guy i'm locked down to because he can actually attack me from three different areas that dude on the left can only attack me from the left when you're good with that, move on to the next drill, which goes over the revenge mechanic. And it's actually a nice follow-up to what you're doing in the external block drill. And think of the revenge as like For Honor's super. It is your comeback tool. It's your, it's your last resort when you're outnumbered and need that little bit extra edge. So just sitting here, you're outnumbered, doing the external blocking. Parrying actually increases your revenge meter. You'll see it in the bottom left. And you'll see when we actually get the revenge... We have to activate it with triangle. If you wait to when you're about to get attacked, you'll actually get a knockdown, which is usually the free heavy. And then once you have revenge, you can kind of go a little bit buck wild. You kind of have a little bit extra shield over your life and your attacks will do more damage. Uh, so just good to note. And like I say, you don't have to wait for someone to attack you to activate it if you want to just get it going. But it, it is nice to get that knockdown, gives you that extra little bit of separation. When you're ready to move on, hold circle and you have completed the advanced tutorial. Now, return to main menu. You might think that has to be it. We have to be ready to fuck shit up. And the answer is no. Still a few more things to go over to kind of get you on the right track. All right, back at the main menu. You might be thinking, hey, maybe I should do the story mode. And maybe it'll help me get used to the mechanics. Or maybe I should go into a match against a bot and play. No, do not do that. No story, no bot matches. The next move here is to actually decide what hero you're going to practice the fundamentals with. I highly recommend picking one hero and sticking with them. So hit the touchpad on your PS4 or whatever the bottom left of your screen says. Get to the hero screen. And now let us go over once again what we're working with here. The three Vanguard are up top. You're all around class. You've already played one of them. The other two are recruited for you. Remember, recruit doesn't mean they're unlocked to be played. It just means they're unlocked to be customized. So don't go around spending 500 steel on all these heroes recruiting them because they all can be played in any of the game modes. So you can really take your time to figure out which one you want to stick with. 
and then you can recruit them because customization allows you to not only personalize them but also start equipping gear that you get uh, from post game drops in terms of picking a hero to play that's up to you i will honestly say that just pick whatever hero looks cool to you um, or maybe you like their move set or whatever i wouldn't worry about the season pass heroes right now uh, because you either need to spend 15,000 steel to play them outside of practice mode or have the season pass. Um, so you're still trying to get used to the game. Some of them are strong and fun to play, but I would focus on the OG cast first. And I do want to give the heads up that the Kensei, Conqueror, and Berserker are all getting reworked for Season 5. So if you're watching this video, getting back in the game, just got the game before Season 5, I would stay away from those three heroes and then maybe pick them up uh, in Season 5 once it's live. So pick some of the other classes. And, and like I said, I really don't have any recommendations. All the heroes are good in their own way. Some just have to work harder than others. So just pick whoever you think is cool because then that'll be the most fun. So click on the hero you want and go to his how to fight. And there you can take a look at his moveset. We'll go over how to read the moveset in a second. But I want to direct you to the basic video. Each hero has a basic and advanced video. They aren't that special but it's good to see kind of a visualization of their basic moves and it goes into more than just their attack chains it goes into their other properties that make the hero unique they aren't very long so spend the time watch them uh, check out the basic and then go right next over to the advanced video and then from there then take a look at your move set and just kind of get an idea of some of the inputs all movesets read the same. Some might just be a little bit more complex and have more moves. But starting on the right side, the top half is always your combo inputs, your chains. So your light attack into heavies, heavies, heavies into lights, etc. And then the bottom half of the list gets into some of your hero's special moves, unique properties. It might be melee attack, it might be a special move, or it might be uh, a deflect. Uh, it depends on the hero and the class. And going over to the left side, that's where you get into some of the descriptions. Renown, Revenge, those are basic, universal for all the heroes. But then again, the bottom half of this list gets into descriptions of the unique properties. So light attack combo for the Warden. Basically a light attack on the side guarantees a second hit. Crushing Counter-Strike, a special parry, and a shoulder bash. It's like his melee opener, and it just goes into how you can cancel it into a guard break or just back to neutral. So every move set is laid out that way. Obviously, the moves change depending on the hero. So now that we got all that covered, we got all that knowledge, let's put it into practice. We're going to go to the dual practice of the how to play menu. Uh, level 0 is just a dummy. Level 1 gives you a little bit more action. It's a raider that throws more heavies. Level 2 is a shigoki that's a little bit more active. Level 3 is a valk. And then you can do a custom. But for our purposes, we're doing bot level 0 to practice some of our inputs. And here we are. Loaded up. This is dual practice bot 0. This is a peacekeeper that's not going to move. It's just going to walk up to you and just let you uh, wail on her. So this is the best way to kind of just practice your inputs, practice what you picked up from those basic advanced videos, and looking at your moveset, which you can access just by pressing start in case you forget anything. Now, I've been playing this game since before release, and I still come to dual practice bot level zero when I'm picking up a new hero, when I feel like some of my inputs are a little sloppy. So highly recommend going through this phase. And once you feel comfortable, let's go back to the main menu. By now, you're probably a little antsy. You want to go fuck shit up, and I feel you. The next step of this process is actually to get into the multiplayer. And assuming you've been following my steps, when you hit multiplayer, you're going to be hit with this message. Fight the commander of your faction to gain access to multiplayer activities. It sounds cool, but in reality, all it is is you're doing a duel against your faction's vanguard, which is a decent level bot, nothing crazy. Uh, we'll load in and show you. So here we are. We're loaded up. We're now in a PVAI duel. And you remember me telling you I didn't want you fighting bots to practice the game. I feel like it's unrealistic, but this is actually required so just practice all the things you've been working on in the tutorials in the dual practice what you've seen in your characters basic and advanced videos just go nuts because this guy is standing in your way from beating up real people so everything you learned make him work for it he's going to react decently compared to some of the bots you are used to uh, but shouldn't give you too much trouble i know i've been playing for a while so this is obviously no sweat to me but um just do your thing make him bleed and there is one last lesson that needs to be learned and you might as well learn it now while fighting your faction's commander 
And that lesson is that there is no honor in For Honor. Win by any means, defeat this commander, and let's get back to the main menu. I have no doubt that you beat the commander, proved your worth, and now you can finally access the multiplayer and stop hearing me ramble on in this video. So we're going to go back to the main menu. You're going to get hit with some bullshit. They're going to go over the faction war. This is really why picking your faction matters for this little metagame thing, but not too important. So moving on, you're finally at the multiplayer screen. Press L1 to take a look at your orders. These are like your daily challenges or bounties. Uh, and it gives you XP for the hero you're playing. And also it gives you some steel. So you'll see there's a bunch of different ones. Some of them won't apply. Uh, we did pick one there, which was 24 takedowns with a Vanguard. We've been using Warden, so that's going to work out for us. Um, and the daily orders, those give you the most amount of steel. They refresh once a day. And the contract orders last a little bit longer. But it's just good to keep an eye on those for ones that matter to you. But for these purposes, we're going to be focusing on dual. So not too much opportunity to do all the orders, but essential for learning the game. So player versus player duels is what we're looking to do. No player versus AI. None of that. Don't get cute trying to jump into 4v4 doing something else. I'm telling you, this is the best way to learn. And if you are playing with a friend, someone who's new, or maybe someone who's uh, trying to get you into the game, do a brawl. That's just as good as basically two 1v1s. But otherwise... 1v1 PvP duel is where you want to go. You need to start playing and reacting against live opponents. Bots aren't that helpful. Story mode definitely isn't helpful. And I'm telling you, this process will definitely help you get into the game, into the swing of things. But anyway, this video has gone on way too long. If you made it this far, I love you. Like, I actually love you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. I hope you're getting at this game. I hope it was helpful. Veteran players, if you have new friends coming into the game, feel free to send them my way if you think this guide is good. If it's not, let me know how I can do it better. But I am confident that this is the best way to learn the game currently. I'm Light Boogie. I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash lightboogie every Monday through Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. A lot of For Honor. Come hang out with me. Come play with me. Until then, be good. Don't forget the boogie. Peace out.